The Way Home or Face the Fire The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings Chapter 8 The Shining Example The Light of the World The Jewish people had become so evil and arrogant, Exodus 33 5, with their customs and religious doctrines and traditions, that they refused to accept that Jesus was the promised Messiah and that he brought the living word, John chapter 1, 1 to 5, of God, Mark 7, 7 to 9. For the I am had said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a stiff-necked people. I will come unto the midst of thee in a moment, and consume thee. Therefore now put off thine ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word, truth. In Hebrew is Nazir. And the truth was with God, not with Lucifer, Satan, the devil. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Mark 7.7 7. Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the traditions of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandments of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. This shows how the devil uses your ego to fool you. Jesus disappeared after his birth in the Druid's visit for more than 30 years, with the single exception of when he was 12 years old, Luke 2.42. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. At the feast of the Passover, when he was talking to the priests in the temple and amazing them with his great knowledge, he disappeared because he had to learn in private exactly what it was like to submit to human limitations and to be, with all intents and purposes, a normal human plus being. He had to learn everything about all the different types and degrees of temptation and how to overcome them. If he didn't, he couldn't possibly help others to overcome theirs, or to be able to complete his mission. Before you can help anyone, you have to not only understand their problem, but how to solve it too. To do that, you have to have solved it yourself many times over. He had to experiment with women, and had to learn how to resist their temptations, because his mission was far too important to let anyone or anything get in the way. He needed time to get used to controlling his human-animal body that Mary's body had made, and that he was locked inside of. He had to learn to control it to such a fine degree that he could not be tempted for love for a woman into failing to complete his mission. Satan sent as many beautiful and sexy women as possible to try to pull him away and even offered him the whole world if he would serve him instead of God. Jesus obviously could not start his work until his body was in his late thirties because as a teenager no one would take him seriously and he would be far too inexperienced in worldly matters to be able to cope with the abuse and ridicule without losing his temper. Jesus' ministry was not from 30 to 33 years of age, but from 33 to 40 years of age. Daniel 9.27 And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, the lake of fire, and that determined shall be poured out upon the desolate. Today's calendar is seven years out in arrears, and the year is actually 1993 A.D., not 1986. As it was, even in his late 30s, he could not get the majority of the people to take him seriously. Once his training was completed, he started to teach people to leave organized religion and go into their closets to speak to God. Jesus was pulling people away from the church and their organized religion, and was teaching them by the sea and on the mountainsides, and the priests were losing their prestige and the respect of the people, and their power over the people, and they were also losing money. The church's lucrative business was crumbling, so they had to find a way to stop Jesus, and they tried to trick him into saying something for which they could prosecute him by their own laws slash legislation, not God's laws, and have him killed, but he was far too clever for them. Mark 12.13, Luke 11.54, and Luke 20.20. 20. And they sent unto him certain of the politicians and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. Luke 11.54, laying wake for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Luke 20.20, 20. and they watched him and sent forth spies which should fiend themselves just men 
that they may take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. The priests who tried to claim to represent God were trying to murder God's son, legally, when God said you must not murder. I say legally, referring to their customs and traditions, the Talmud, that they had made up themselves to allow themselves to break God's laws. They made their own laws, thereby making God's laws obsolete and effective. Mark 7, 9 and 13. Mark 7, 9. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition, making the word of God of no effect through your tradition. Talmud, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. They made up their own laws, thereby making God's laws obsolete, ineffective, and gave themselves the right, question mark, to murder Jesus. Hosea 4, 6 and John 16, 1 to 4. Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of my knowledge. Because thou hast rejected my knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. John 16, 1-4 These things I have spoken unto you, that you should not be offended. They shall put you out of the churches. Yea, the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you will think that he does God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye shall remember that I told you of them. And these things I said, not unto you in the beginning, because I was with you. Today the situation is many times worse, because of men having made up so many thousands of their own laws, to enable themselves, the rich, to break God's laws, that mankind has forgotten God's laws. The royal perfect laws of liberty even exist. God's laws, statutes, and judgments, etc., are the only ones that exist. And all of today's many thousands of unlawful human laws slash legislation and judgments do not exist as far as God is concerned, except in your minds. Matthew 5.18 For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no way pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do not be fooled. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Anyone making up, administering, or enforcing unlawful human laws slash legislation and judgments will be severely punished by God. The other people who permit the making of unlawful human legislation and judgments punish themselves because of the effect that these unlawful and unjust laws have on society. Men's unlawful and unjust laws slash legislation also punish the innocent more than the guilty.